My name is Jerry Truman, and I am only that was another meeting. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Unique art of mine, if, it's, if it is an art indeed, I don't know, was by, uh, by mistake. I, I blundered into it. I don't know whether the electric light bulb went off at that moment or a week later or a month later, I don't know. But it, it occurred to me that there was such brilliant colors on soda cans that why not use them as a palette for making a, a, a mosaic painting out of them. My first efforts were geometric and they were, they were nice I was, and I was gluing them onto wood. On, and they, they, the first were not on, 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 sort of on, car, on hard cardboard. I didn't care for it. So I started nailing them onto wood. And the results were very pretty and nice, the ni nice geometric designs, but they really weren't satisfying. They, I, I could do one in three hours or so, you know. I wanted, eventually I, I it evolved into making pictures. What do you think people ask me about? What's the hardest color to find? No. Yeah, How do you cut it up? No. Where do you get a all the soda? There you go. There's the answer. And the answer is you do occasionally, but not, not that often. I over the over the years I've been I've developed a little answer to that one. I keep telling them that in future years, if there's any forensic scientist Looking at my looking at some work, I'm wanting to know if it is a true Truman. My DNA is in almost every picture. <laughs> From basic things, how I start. A can. A can opener. Good start, good marriage. First thing I do is I take this, I, before I do anything, I wash the can out thoroughly. You can't have friends in your garage. <laughs> I don't get friends in <laughs> Take the top off. This is public's own, own product. I get the top cut off. It's gone. Put your finger in there. Don't cut yourself. It usually pops right out. There it is. So I take the taper and cut it off. All I need the colors on these cans. I'm looking to put this into my green bin. Just cut the can itself down the bottom. With the other scissor, I cut the bottom off. Hold it over an edge, a sharp edge like that. I've got my can. What I do then, I cut away the, this wording. The, the stuff here is not going to help me at all. Just cut it away. And there's my color. I have, I store these in various bins by color, by hue, by tint, whatever. I try to keep them all separated so that I know this is my palette. This is what I'm going to be painting with. I want to see what colors I have. You want a, a shade of red, you add a little white to it and you get a little lighter. You want a little darker, you add something dark to it and get a little darker. And you can do it gradually. I can. I've got to do it according to the colors I have. So I try to get as many colors and shapes as I can, as I can <coughs> stored away in my bin. Oh, Mostly, yes. Uh, the soda cans are they're very thin. I I'll just show you something. Here's, here's a piece of aluminum. Here's an ordinary household scissor. Just like paper. Beer cans are, are, are a little thicker gauge. Right? They use these scissors to cut designs on their paper. And, and, it, and the, the set I have has about 15 or 16 different, different designs. So when I need something like that, it's handy. Very, very handy. You see this, this little thing, four blades? These pictures, this one and that one, are all done shredded by these. But, but laying it on is another story now. 
These are laid on like shingles, each one the same thickness, the same width, covered by another layer and another, as they, as they install shingles on, a, on the roof of a house. Wow. That's the way that one was done. This one, I, instead of just laying it on flat, I brought them up off the board and they made little designs out of it. I owe this one to the beautiful Catherine Carlisle, wherever she is. Where is she? Yeah. She does that. We were sitting, we were sitting once together, and she says, I have the tool for you. You must get this tool. She says, I use it in my jewelry work. I, it, it'll take very thin metal and it will uh, corrugate it. I said, where do I get such a thing? <laughs> she says, I'll send away. Grab a hold of it, tighten it, and you turn it. You have a piece of corrugated. That's the way this is all done. These are all corrugated. When I corrugated them, and then I, when I when I when I built these this board, I, I brought them away from the board. I made loops and make them go into each other. That's one of my Roy G. Bibb pictures. I I have a lot of them. I like I like I like colors. I do like colors. Doing it good for my waist, but I pick up nails off the floor with magnets, and they're always over the floor, over the floor. I really should bend down. What I think are my best results are structures, architectural pictures. For some reason, it seems that the metal works works out better when I'm doing pictures of a town, a little town, or. A I was surprised with that fella. That one was in the museum. I'm so <laughs> pleased with that. That one there. About what else do this work? No, I think I'm the only lunatic in the world. Now, as far as the tool, that's that's it really, basically my tools. A house I took a photograph in, in Georgetown. Georgetown. Well, thank you. Thank you. I've been doing this now for like 15 years. And darn it, I learn something every time I make another picture. I learn a new trick. This one, I was, I love this one. This was the first picture I tried this. I made the windows, and I wanted to make them look realistic with, like, with blinds on it. So I used barcodes. I just cut the barcodes out. I, I, I made a frame, and I put barcodes in the one. It's a good chance you'll look at them, you look them around. And fun. By the way, this is... I said I started this was I I am I I'm Jerry Truman and I am a I am addicted to this I really am I, I love it. I was looking at the, at the my book to see how I draw out the pictures around, but like on an abstract I really work with a, a, an idea in mind and I don't know where the devil's going to take me. I just start nailing pieces onto it and that's something that ends up like that. The nails are just about this long, half inch. And they're very thin. They have a head. They're not brown. They are listening down to this board. I'll take this. Not like that. Put the nail in. Tap it in, and it's in. It's a, such a simple process. It really is. I feel embarrassed to tell you. <laughs> it really is. Choosing the subject sometimes is most difficult. See, I have to be happy with my subject because I'm working on it so darn long. It takes me between a month and two or three months to finish a picture. So I have to really like what I'm doing. Yes, but they don't have them that they No, I need a real slide. I'm putting real. I'm putting real. No, no, no. But you have a good slide work there. Oh, I do. I do know, but I mean on the wood itself. On the wood itself. Yes, sir. Yeah, it's, it's on the picture, Joan. It's yeah. in the front picture. Oh, I didn't, I didn't see the picture. Oh, thank you, Joan. Thank you. Jerry, yeah. 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 fabulous. By the way, that website, you know what I mean? Oh, fans? Yeah. Fans? Um, and I try, I, I want to be a friend. <laughs> But it won't let me. It won't let you be my friend. Jerry, would you tell us about the nudes from memory again? <laughs> I have my mother's card in the car. You I, want it? I have. Oh, I have it. Oh, Jerry. Oh, thank you. Do you use the other kind?